you're watching Tasty Tuesday, show us Tuesday, trying to make something tasty, and sometimes it works. And we get really happy during those times. First of all, I would like to say hello. How are you? Notice anything new or different? Yes, I did get a haircut. But secondly, what? I just want to do a good job. Aprons are here. They're a reality. They're in the tangible world, the physical realm. You can order them. These have been requested by you guys for over a year. It took me a while to find a place that I could do the design I wanted and have it be, you know, something that both men and women would look hot in also at a price point that I feel like everyone could afford. I like to keep stuff low so everyone can get one if they want one. These are available for the holidays. If it goes well, then they'll be available after the holidays. I also have some mugs that are really cool and I like them a lot. I'll leave a link in the description. If you order it by December 4th, it's guaranteed to get to you by Christmas. If you want these as a present for someone that you love very much or as a present for someone that you hate very much, depending on how you feel about me and Tasty Tuesday. I won't ask questions. That's the you can order them after December 4th. They're just not guaranteed to get to you by Christmas. So I would get on that. What else? Oh yeah, so today I have absolutely no idea if this is gonna work. And I know I say that frequently, but this time this is a wild one. I just made it up out of my head and I don't know if it's the correct way to go about something like this. I thought we'd make some Thanksgiving leftovers cups, cupcakes. Y'all know I've been obsessed with putting my food in cupcake form because I don't like to wash dishes. I just like to have my whole meal in my hand like we did when we were babies, before we had responsibilities, like washing dishes. This recipe I think would be very awesome if you already had all the leftovers. I didn't, so I've been making leftovers. I made some mashed potatoes using Middleness Baker's recipe, which I'll put a link in the description to. Also, we're starting this recipe using the dank-ass cornbread recipe that I made last year. That was actually very dank-ass cornbread. You should check that out. And we're just gonna kinda wing it. So, hopefully it's tasty. Hopefully it works and like looks legit. I feel like I'm getting too cocky with these making up my own recipes things, but hey, we're on a roll. Thanksgiving bread roll. No. Let's make this dish! We will start by looking very sexy in this apron. Hello. How are you? Do you have a boner? How about now? We're gonna start by putting our oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is in Celsius. And guess what? I don't want to know. Next, we're gonna start on the stuffing part of our recipe. If you already have stuffing, whoa, good for you. This is like way easier for you. All you really have to do is take your stuffing, add some sauteed vegetables, which we're gonna do in a second, and then maybe like an egg or a flaxseed egg, depending on if you eat eggs, and mix that all up and put them into the cupcake pan, and you're good. I don't have stuffing, so I'm gonna make a stuffing like cornbread. Maybe it works. I don't really know how food ends up being whole foods. It might fall apart, is what I'm trying to say. Be prepared, but I mean, we're confident. So grab a pan like this size. I really can't be very exact when I'm making up the recipe as I go. One year ago, I never would've tried this. Five months ago, I never would've tried this. Let's get real. So I'm putting a tablespoon-ish of olive oil in here, and I'm making my voice very hot because I don't know what I'm doing. We're gonna take a cup of onions, a cup of chopped carrots, and a cup of chopped celery, and we're gonna pray. Do magic, please, please like me. Please turn on, thank you. Uh, medium, high heat, maybe, maybe? Okay, they need some time, so we're gonna give them like 10 minutes. I think that's enough time. While that's happening, we're gonna get on the cornbread mix. To do that, we're gonna take a medium-sized bowl and put inside the following ingredients. So like I said, this part is starting out like a cornbread recipe that I've already used and I love. We're gonna put one cup of flour, one cup of cornmeal. I would make a pun, but I feel like it would be too corny. I told you. One fourth cup of sugar, four teaspoons baking powder. I feel like that's a lot of teaspoons of baking powder. Are you Baking powder. And three fourths teaspoon of table salt. This is sea salt. I don't have table salt. This is like the salt on the tables in the sea. Just do it. And we're gonna whisk this all together until well combined. Ah, get whisk quick. Okay, to our dry ingredients, we're gonna add the following wet ingredients. Wet ingredients. Do you have a boner now? Don't lie to me. We're gonna do this boiled flaxseed mixture that it told me to make. It was six tablespoons water, two tablespoons ground flaxseed. This is in place of an egg, so if you have eggs or you like eggs, use an egg. Now just use one cup of milk, but since we're doing a stuffing-like recipe, I thought we'd do half a cup of milk and half a cup 
up a vegetable stock. Is that crazy? Do I need it to be milk? I don't know. Or do I just need it to be liquid? Because then it would work. This is why I have no idea. But we're gonna find out really soon. Really, like, scarily soon. Ah! Vegetables, are you dead? Are you soft? Let's check it out. You know, they're not super soft. Maybe a little bit longer. Oh yeah, I was supposed to put salt and pepper and sage in this. Shit! Don't tell anybody. Uh, fix it, fix it. Salt, pepper. What have sage? Do I even have it? Yes! What a shit show. Hell yeah. How much? I don't know, how much? How much do you think? Well, that smells much better. Gotta say, this smells a lot more like stuffing. I should have done that sages ago. Please subscribe, my neighbor. Oh yes, oh yes. Bitch, that smells so much better. I'm so sorry you're not a bitch. Okay, I think these are good now. We're gonna turn the heat off. We're gonna put set you aside like the cooks do. Where was I with this? Oh yeah. Half cup of milk, half cup of vegetable broth. Does it work? We'll find out. TBD. I feel like it just has to be liquid, but also I don't know anything. So, place your bets. Also, a fourth cup of canola oil. I don't have it. Vegetable oil, does that work too? Life's a guessing game, especially in this kitchen. I don't canola. Just forget that one. Forget it. Didn't happen. Okay, now we're gonna beat this it with a hand mixer. I didn't know about this step, otherwise I would have done all this in my uh, standing mixer because I have one, but I didn't know, so old school we go. This thing has to give me a hand with this. I like you. We're gonna beat this until just smooth. Do not overbeat. Okay, if by smooth they meant lumpy, then we're good. Again, we want this to resemble stuffing, so I feel like that's okay. It can be kind of lumpy. However, if it falls apart in the oven, it's not okay. I wish it was smooth. This part is a part that's just totally gonna leap and hope the net's there. We're gonna add our sauteed vegetables to this mixture. Yeah? Are we all on board? Oh, that carrot's not. That's okay. Always one that jumps. Always one that gets away. I would get it, but I don't care it. I'm slowly dying each episode. Okay, and then we're gonna mix that up. <laughs> this looks beautiful. In a non-traditional beauty way. This honestly looks like stuff they used to service in the cafeteria at my elementary school, so I think we're on the right track. Okay, so now we're gonna grief, grief? I have a lot of it, yep. We're gonna grease our muffin pan, or our cupcake pan, rather, like a this. Okay, maybe not so close to your face. Skincare regimen, got an all-in-one. Great, then we're gonna fill each one of our cups with our mixture, our dank-ass cornbread mixture. Are you still gonna be good? Please be good. I kind of really very much want this to work. This is getting everywhere. You know, it's probably easier just to heat up your leftovers and eat them, but that's not cute, so we still win. Okay, this is a great mess of flavors. We are gonna bake this for 20 to 25 minutes. I'm thinking more 20 minutes because it's supposed to be all in one pan according to that recipe so maybe a little bit on the lower side this is a long explanation 20 minutes we'll check on it that's what I meant to say 20 minutes I thought I was gonna be in bed by now life is such a Pandora's box see you in 20 minutes get an apron while you're waiting right now you could open a new window you don't even have to leave this video ASMR we'll see you in 20 guys so exciting it smells exactly like cornbread in here I don't know if it tastes like stuffy but it definitely smells like cornbread Oh, also I'm making mushroom gravy that I made last year. Don't worry about that, that's happening. If you wanna check out that recipe, you can check it out. But again, these are like as if you had this leftover. These are leftover gravies. Gravy, just, just one, not the plural. Let's take these out. I feel like they're done. Yeah, look at that. Is this gonna work? I feel like if this works, this whole world is an illusion. Toothpick test, that's how you know. Clean toothpick. All right, they're done. They feel a little dry. Do you have a boner? But we're gonna go with it. Let's give them a chance here. Okay, I'm gonna finish this gravy really quick. I'll be right with you. I'm sorry, this gravy is excellent and I don't know what's going on. These have been cooling for about 10 minutes now, so we're gonna move on to the next step, which is, now I don't know if this is a good idea or bad, but I'm gonna take a little scooper thing and I'm gonna scoop out like a little bit of the center of each cupcake so I can fill it with mashed potatoes. Is this gonna work? I I feel like it might. I'm so excited. I mean, I shouldn't be excited yet. Don't be excited yet. Does this taste like stuffing? You know what? It kind of tastes like stuffing. Holy shot. Can I save it in a thing? I'm gonna save you. Yes. Future food. I think my little scooper thing might be a little bit too big. I'm gonna take this instead. Oh yes, much better. It doesn't completely destroy the top of the... Look at us, creating cup food like it ain't muffin. It's a cupcake, not muffin. Okay. Yes, yes. 
I like it a lot. I think the sauteed vegetables kept it kind of moist in the center. Do you have a butter? So it tastes more like stuffing, which is a good result. Optimal result. Now that all of our cupcakes have little holes in them, craters if you will, we are going to fill them with mashed potatoes after we eat half of the mashed potatoes while we're waiting for other things to cook. That is when we'll fill them with mashed potatoes. Now we can use this scooper thing. Hell yeah. Hopefully these aren't too cold. These mashed potatoes are seriously so bomb you have have to make them like do it. I don't care if you're sick of cooking Thanksgiving things, you should make these, they're so good. So these mashed potatoes just nicely take the place of the top of our cupcakes. It's perfect! It's a little too perfect, I'm kind of scared. TBH. And look at all this future lunch I have. That's awesome. I like you, I like you. Hi, I like you. Okay, I'm just gonna pop these back in the oven for like two minutes just to warm up the mashed potatoes and then we should be good to go. So exciting. Be warmer. Look at these, Thanksgiving cupcakes. Also, if you are the type of person that eats turkey for Thanksgiving, you could mix it into the mashed potatoes, like shred it and mix it in, or you could sprinkle it on top right now. I don't have turkey. But you could do that. So all that's left is I'm going to frost our cupcakes with this delicious mushroom gravy that I also highly suggest you make. But if you have your own, use that. And also, I'm a weirdo that likes to mix cranberry sauce and gravy, so I'm gonna add cranberry sauce to mine. You could probably leave a few that don't have cranberry sauce. Some people don't like that mixture of flavors. I really do. I also like pineapple on my pizza because I am right. So let that sink in. Okay, I'm gonna plate these and then I'm gonna see if they're tasty. Hopefully it tastes like Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving leftovers. This would have been good to bring to Thanksgiving. We're late. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. It kind of looks like a peanut butter jelly sandwich, not gonna lie, but <laughs> in real life, it looks really good. Uh, hopefully they are tasty. Let's see what happens. Look at this shit, look at this shit, look at this shit. It looks so good. Do you have a boner now? I do. Okay, beautiful. Let's do the damn thing, huh? Okay, so, honey. Yeah. Are you the type of person that likes cranberry and gravy mixed together, or do you like them separate as flavors? I like them separate usually, mm -hmm. but I've gotten into it more as an adult. Try it, you could always make it just separate. These are Thanksgiving leftovers cupcakes. It's, it smells so freaking good in here, it's crazy. Yes, it smells like Thanksgiving, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. You might need to use a fork, because I piled it on pretty high. You could do it without a fork? Yes, success! Oh, snap, that's really Really good. Yeah? It's tasty! What, 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 what is this? I can't believe it. I honestly can't believe it. I think I might have to come to terms with I can invent cupcake food. Probably not other foods, but cupcake foods, I'm like success rate 10 out of 10. They're showing it with it. It's really good. Uh, no comment. Hell yeah! It's tasty! You know what? I think it's the apron. I think once you put an apron on, you're a professional chef, you know how to cook. It's just what happens. So, you know, order one, link in the description, click to buy, do it, get, buy a lot. But for your friends, I'm family, think of people. There you go. You are getting one, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna get an apron. Yay! I never understood why you needed aprons before, but Until Nikki you... makes a freaking mess, dude. <laughs> and now I get it. Yeah. Before I was like, was it like decoration? Like, is it something people just wear? Like, is it like no. how you wear ball caps to baseball games? You wear this in the kitchen? And I don't even know that I spilled on myself <laughs> until I'm going through my closet and all of my shirts have just stains. And she spills on herself. We're talking eating. I don't even have to be eating. You could be I making don't. oatmeal. <laughs> Dude, earlier you spilled soup all over the carpet. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> that was ten, that was 30 minutes ago or whatever, or hours ago. Yeah, that happened. Jesus. Hey, so Good that's job. why you should have an apron. Protect your shirt. Wearing a white shirt today, it's probably still white, hopefully. Now that's the goal. It is, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's the goal. That's Good the job. goal. I mean, I see some spots already, so like that would have been on my shirt. Unless you cook naked. So get one, buy one, do apron. one, do it. Make these, these are really great. If you have the stuff already, it's easy. Oh wait, I want to try it. I always forget yeah, to try, try it. it and then people are like, why didn't you try it? Wow. That is Thanksgiving. Exactly. That is a Thanksgiving cupcake. Just call them Thanksgiving bites, dude. That's all it it's is. It's more than a bite, but... Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Wow. I did so good. Good job. I'm a food genius, You're I a think. bagger. I just never thought this day would happen. This is so bomb. I gotta make a book. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I got a long way to go before I can make a book. But I got an apron. That's a start. So go ahead and get that. All right, subscribe so you don't miss any of this. See you next time. Bye.